and gentlemen. And we're all here in Georgia. Can we just say thank God for air conditioning? Let's talk about refrigerators. I personally like my refrigerator. I know you all like yours. What about washing machines and dryers? Lord, please God, don't make me scrub clothes in a bucket and have to hang them out on the line when we switch over to wind turbines and solar panels. You know the right is losing when their midterm strategy is to claim that Democrats don't want Americans to have electricity. Marjorie Taylor Greene is making waves yet again for being one of the least intelligent Congress people that has ever existed. And I'm sure that's saying a lot because here's what I think is happening here. So there's a looming global energy crisis on the horizon. Britain is already seeing prices for heat and electricity skyrocket. And it's going to get so much worse. But energy policy is complicated. Too complicated, it seems, for people like Green, whose job it is to understand it and communicate it. So in the absence of any comprehension about the issue or issues at hand, Green just lies. Which is kind of the Republican strategy in general, but this one is crazy and really harmful. Claiming that Democrats want people to die from lack of electricity is completely ridiculous, as the Democrats are the ones trying to fight for a shred of climate legislation that the right keeps rejecting. As I said, Europe is on the brink of a total energy crisis. It's directly related to the war in Ukraine, as European nations imported huge amounts, like 40% of their energy, from natural gas from Russia and Putin's invasion completely cut off those supply lines. Now, the continent is scrambling to meet demand amidst truly exorbitant costs. Germany's economy, the largest in the Eurozone, is projected to shrink this year, which of course signals very bad news for every other European country. A German economist went as far as to say that, quote, it is like watching a train running into a wall and you can see the wall is coming. Luckily for Americans, the crisis won't hit us as hard as we are somewhat more energy independent. So Marjorie Taylor Greene is just fear-mongering, plain and simple, to drum up support for the Republican Party, which is cratering before the midterms. We are in a crisis in terms of energy, but that is the reason we need to demand more energy independence in the form of renewable resources and more exploration of nuclear energy. Marjorie Taylor Greene wants us to think that if we invest in those clean energy sources, we won't have heat or refrigerators or lights. But that, of course, is total BS. We need these solutions and sources so that we aren't tied to the geopolitical whims of a country like Russia. The U.S. needs to be energy independent for our own citizen safety, but geopolitical security as well, and the right is falling behind on that front. Republicans are starting to cave on things like acknowledging the need for massive energy investments, but not enough. Someone should tell Marjorie Taylor Greene that, but I don't think she'll even be able to understand it in those terms. Thanks so much for watching. You can follow me on all platforms at Caro Johnson 917.